College of Teacher Education presents Education Day 2022 with different societies. Welcome to Casa Educacion. We are all exception. Fantastical. And magical. With the team. This April 30, 2022. Malapit na! College of Teacher Education presents Education Day 2022 with different societies. Welcome to Casa Educacion. We are all exception. Fantastical. And magical. With the theme. This April 30, 2022. Malapit na!
pleasant afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, as for this moment, we will witness a six dazzling candidate presenter very best and quite the covetous crown right here at this stage. As the hour fills with sheer excitement, we will soon find out who will be the worthy title holders. I am Xander Lane Resumentosa. And I am Lester Manta. And this is the search for Mr. and Ms. Education 2022. It's a very hot afternoon for everyone, partner. Yes, indeed, partner. The competition seems as hot as the weather today. I am very pleased to be hosting this program with you. Thank you. I'm happy hosting this event with you as well. Partner, indeed, this is the most awaited moment for our educated candidates. And everyone is excited about this pageant, right? That's right, partner. Our spectators have their own bets on who will win this prestigious pageant. So, let us not prolong the agony of waiting. And to formally start our program, may we request everyone to please stand for the prayer, singing of the Philippine National Anthem, South Kongbato Hymn, Coronado Hymn, and RMMCM Hymn. Auzubillah minasyaitanirrajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Pakala rabbukum uduni asaglakum amin ya rabbal alamin Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin Arrahmanirrahim maliki yawmiddin Iyaka na'abudu iyaka nasanuh Nina siratal mustaqim Siratal ladina na'amta alayhim Ghayril magdubi alayhim Waladhalin amin Allahumma gwa syamal al-muslimin Wa kristian wa lumad Bi madina al-dabaw وسلم دائما مجتمعنا هذا بسلم والأمن والتقدم في بلدنا هذا آمين يا رب العالمين ربنا لا تزيغ قلوبنا بعد جهل تنوهب لنا من لدن رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب ربنا إنك أنت الوهاب ربنا أتينا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار وصلى الله على خير خلقه سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم سبحان ربك رب العزة ما يسيبون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين آمين يا رب العالمين In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen Our most gracious heavenly Father We come to you today to praise and worship you and give you thanks for all the things you continue to provide for ourselves and our families. Father, we humbly ask for forgiveness for all the times we have offended you. When we forget to acknowledge your presence in the image of our brothers and sisters, and for moments we fail to be good stewards of the blessings you have given us. Continue to guide and protect each one of us, Lord, that we may always walk in the light of your everlasting love and mercy. Grant us, Father, with your comfort in times of distress and with your strength in times of weakness. Bestow upon us your unending grace and healing that may 
may in turn become instruments of gentleness and compassion to others. We ask all this in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the prayer and the intercession of our Blessed Mother. Amen. Sang Awit ng Pilipinas
towards a diverse culture and openness amidst pandemic. I believe this pandemic COVID-19 brought us dilemmas and problems in our life, especially to our academic aspect. We experienced academic burnout, procrastination, anxiety, and depression as well. But I know every one of us put this COVID-19 with perseverance, hard work, and determination. Well, to be honest, we, the DSC officers of College of Teacher Education, struggled a lot in conducting this event because some of us are good waiting and some of us having the research. But then we did and gave our very best to make this event a successful one. Today is the day that will surely make another history in our Department of College of Teacher Education. For this day, the Mr. and Ms. Ambassador and Ambassadress of Education 2022 will be crowned. For almost a month of rigid training and preparation for the different activities, sleepless nights, practice, pictorials, and shoot, we end up today. For today is the day to end this race and give the crown to whoever deserving to hold it. At the end of the day, all we need is hope and strength. Hope that it will be eventually get better and strength to hold until it does. And while we're waiting, whatever hardships, challenges, indecisions and fears that we are facing, we just remember that this too shall pass and by the grace of God, we will overcome. Once again, to welcome to our Education Day 2022. Enjoy watching, God bless, and more power to us, Sibon Adila. Thank you so much for that, Mr. Barret. Partner, this program is indeed one of the most awaited and most glamorous, isn't it? That's right, partner. So what are we waiting for? Let's not make the spectators wait. May we present to you six dazzling contestants in fair production number.
Justin J.G. Sanza, 20, Louisa Society. John Paul D. Navales, 21, Louisa Society. Nainal Saludo, 21, Isabella Society. Tom Jason Subadi Nicholas, 24, Isabella Society. I want a song. I want a party. And fly. Sheena Marie Gula, 19, Mirabelle Society. Resti John Pinaranda, 19, Mirabelle Society. Hey, 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 hey. Our first judge is currently studying at Sultan Kudarat State University Access Campus, a fourth year student taking up Bachelor of Physical Education, member of Teatro Kalakat Cultural Dance Troupe, Municipal President of Berkada Contra Droga, BKD of Durala, South Cotabato, Sangguniang Kabataan Kagawad in Barangay Liberty, Student Body Organization Board Member, the University Student Government Vice President of Academic Year 20. 2019 2020. The University Student Government President and Student Regent of SKSU Academic Year 2020 2021. Proud as the first ever Mr. Teen Liberty 2018. Ginoong Kalikasan 2017. Ambassador of RCY 2018. Second runner up in Division Wide at Banga, South Cotabato. Proud as the first ever Hari ng Kabataan ng Norala 2018. 
Lakandula ng Wika 2018. Finalist of Dinoong South Cotabato representing the Municipality of Nurana. Mr. Axis, third runner-up 2019. Newly crowned Mr. University of Sultan Kudarat State University 2021. Member of MV Creatives and Production Modeling Agency and a freelance model. Mr. Darrell J. Makiling Landero. Our second judge, a national winner of Festival of Talents in Tacloban City, year 2013. Won as bronze medalist with the event of experimental cookery with table setup competition, representing Region 12. A former pioneer president of the Morayao Giants Troop of Coronadal National Comprehensive High School. He finished his college degree at Golden State College of Coronadal Incorporated with the degree Bachelor of Science in Hotel and Restaurant Management, awarded as Academic Excellence Awardee. Former SSG President in two consecutive years at Golden State College of Coronadal, school year 2015-2016 and 2016-2017. Former Food and Beverage Supervisor of Fortune Field Pantatan in Banga, South Cotabato, year 2017-2018. Former HRM instructor at Regency Polytechnic College, year 2018-2019. And now, presently working as college teacher at Marvelous College of Technology Incorporated for almost three years and counting. Person behind JDT Creations and Events, Bajinel Tanghal, coordinator of online pageants like Duty Search for Online Teen Start 2021. A freelance host, a freelance event coordinator, a freelance event stylist, and a freelance dance choreographer. Let us all welcome Mr. Junel de la Cruz Tanghal. Our last judge and the chairman of the Board of Judges. Graduated at Mindanao State University, Jensen, with the degree of Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in Filipino, in the year 2018. Passed the licensure examination year 2018. Former senior high school teacher at RMMC MI. Singer, rank model, member of Model Association of Jensen. Miss SEFE 2016, first runner up. Mutia ng Santo Niño 2016, second runner up. Miss SAFE 2017. Miss Sinaglaya 2018, first runner up. Mutia ng Santo Niño Tourism 2018. Mutia ng Benitez 2019, first runner up. Battle of the Queens 2019 finalist. Mutia ng Lutayan 2019, second runner up. Let us all welcome. Mrs. Scarlett Zuzane A. Mendoza. From this moment, I would also particularly take note of the presence of our guests, teachers, and students that is present on this occasion, who have taken their precious time to watch our contestants and who are great talent. We wholeheartedly welcome you all on behalf of the CTE department. Earlier this morning, we exhibited various outputs from different societies of CTE department. After the liberation of their outputs, we will declare winners for documentary and storytelling. Magandang araw sa inyong lahat! Halina tayo ay magbasa at matuto. Nakita niyo na ba refleksyon niyo sa salamin? Nagustuhan niyo ba ang inyong nakita? O hindi? Ang ating kwento sa araw nito ay tungkol sa isang aso na may hindi gusto sa kanyang katawan. Ngayong araw, ang kwento ng ating babasahin ay si Putot. Bakit nga ba manungkot si Putot? Tara, alamin natin. Si Putot, kwento ni Mike Begonia, kumit ni Charles Fong, at ito ay nilatala ng Darna House. Mahabang bunto ang pangarap ni Putot dahil maikli ang kanyang buntot. Inggit, inggit siya sa mahabang buntot na iba. At ikinahiya naman ang buntot niya. 
Tumas may klipas o palito ng posporo. Madalas niyang himat. Titulad ng loro. Sabi ni Tutot. Pwedeng flow ang kanyang buntot. O di kaya'y nagpusa. Ang buntot din na nga ng kanyang amo. Ganun din ng baboy. Pagsinin sa handaan. Ang kulot na buntot. Puti na ang kabayo. Kaya niyang broad sa napanot. Ang buntot. Mabuti pa ang baka. Hindi ba ni putot? Pwede pa may pan. Ang mahabang buntot. Mahaba rin ang buntot ng kalabaw. Pangagupit sa putot langaw. Kahangahanga ang putot ng matsing. Nagagawang bagong putot ng nalapitin. Bakit ka umiyak, kaibigan? Tanong ko yung putot na nagdaraang bulate. Kasi, malas ako. May kli ang buntot ko. Kamuti ka pa, mahaba ang buntot mo. Biglang iyak ng bulate. Bakit? Bulat na tanong ni putot. Ano pang nangyari? Kasi ang gaguan kay puro buntot. Paliwanan ng bulate. Walang tenga. Walang ilong. Walang paa. Kaya mas malas ako kaysa sa'yo. <laughs> Hindi pala dapat ikahiyang kapansanan. Sabi ni Putot. Pagkat nito ganap na kasawian. May lima na buntot ko. Buntot pa rin tawag dito. Tandaan na hindi dapat natin ikahiya ang ating kapansanan dahil hindi ito ganap na kasawian. Walang perfectong nilalang, lahat tayo ay maghinaan at kapintasan. Tanggapin natin ang ating sarili sapagkat tayo ay ginawa ng Diyos at lahat tayo ay may kabuluhan para sa Kanya. At dyan, nagtatapos ang ating kwento sa araw na ito. Hanggang sa muli! Paalam! Hi! Welcome to English Central. My name is Brian. What is your name? Ako si John Brian Sinchovo. At ito ang kwento ng buhay ko. Ako ay 21 anyos. Maybe you're all wondering, Bright, 21 ka na, bakit first year ka pa rin? This is my fourth course. Nakapag BS Biology na ako. Nakapag BS Nursing. At nakapag Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in English. At ngayon, sana matapos ko na ang Bachelor of Secondary Education major in Science dito sa Ramon Magsaysay Memorial Colleges, Marble Incorporated. Kung kapipiliin ako, gusto kong mag-aaral sa Manila. Kumbaga, yung mga taga-probinsya dumatay ng Manila para makapag-aaral. Pero ako, dumayin ng Mindanao para makapag-aaral sa anong dahilan. Dahil yun lang yung option na meron ako. Dahil kung hindi ako makakawi dito, hindi ako pag-aaralin. Kasi kung ako tatanong ngayon, gusto ko maging doktor. Gusto ko maging surgeon. Neurosurgeon to be specific. Pero pinagdamot sa akin yung talhana. March 2020. Saktong kakabalik ko lang ng Manila, kaling dito sa Mindanao. At biglang umusbong ang pandemya. Noong panahon na yun, sakto-sakto, kakapasok ko lang sa Concentrix, isa ako call center agent. Dumating ang pandemya, hindi ko alam gagawin ko. Mag-isa ako, walang sumusuporta sa akin. Saan ako ng pera, pangkain? 
ang tanging bumuhay sa akin nung panahon na yon. Ang tanging bumuhay sa akin nung panahon na yon ay yung mga ayuda. Uh, kilo-kilong bigas binibigay sa amin, mga delata. Kaya ngayon, mapakainin mo ako na sardinas. Parang hindi ko na kayang lunokin. Hindi dahil sa maarti ako. O hindi dahil sa napurga na yung katawan ko. So, kung suko na ako, hindi ko na kaya. I almost gave up multiple times already. Sobrang apektado na mental health ko. Sobra. Mental health, financial, emotional, spiritual, physical, everything. Suko na that time. Hawa ko na yung scalpel ko nung panahon na yun. Hanggang dumating sa punto na nakatanggap ako ng tawag mula dito sa Mindanao. Na, natanong ako kung gusto ko mag-aral. Kala ko okay ang lahat. Kala ko masasettle ko na yung sarili ko. Pero hindi. At ito ako ngayon, ano nung balik sa sitwasyon ko naman. Pero hindi ako sumuko. Na naman. Kamalis ako sa bahay. Noong unang mga buwan, Umaasal ako sa mga kaibigan ko. Nag-offer isa sa mga friend ko na, Uy, Bri, mayroon ditong uh, English tutor. Luckily, nakuha. <laughs> Siguro nandun pa ako sa stage na nag adjust pa ako sa situation where hindi ko alam paano ibabalance yung tulog, pag-aaral, trabaho. Pero sabi ko sarili ko, kayanin mo yan. You're not Brian for nothing. Yun niya yun. Masaya ako kasi... First time kong tutungtong ng second year. And yeah, luckily, sa loob ng isang taon, I've gained some achievements. First, I was part of the Dean's Lister in our block. Second, I was crowned as the newest Mr. Pasundayag of Ramon Magsaysay Memorial Colleges, Marble Incorporated. And third, I have gained a lot, 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 lot of friends. And fourth, I have my stable job. I am telling you my story not because I'm a cloud chaser. Hence, I want to be an inspiration and to set motivation sa mga students na gumigive up na sa buhay. That there is always a way para malagpasan lahat ng pinagdadaanan sa buhay. Tanda natin, change is constant. Lahat pwede magbago at lahat magbabago. Habang humihinga ka, may pag-asa pa. Ako si John Bryan Sinsyoko at isa akong working student at lalaban ako para sa pangarap ko. Congratulations to the first two winners! As of the moment, fasten your seatbelts and enjoy the ride as we will present to you the candidate in their Uniform and Interview Portion! Okay. Sorry, right. I would just like you to introduce yourself and also your course. Um, um, good afternoon everyone. My name is Eugenio Luisanza and I'm currently enrolled and be at or Bachelor of Elementary Education. Okay, so thank you very much. So you are a future elementary educator. Yes. Okay, so here is my question. Here is my question. Give me one quality of a BE Ed student that everyone should have, and how could you use this quality of yours to solve the existing problem that we have? Example, the global warming. I repeat, give me one quality of a BE Ed student that everyone should have, and how could you use this existing or this quality of yours to solve the existing problem that we have, example, the global warming. Um, I think the qualities that we need by the day at that first is determination, and second, they know about our surrounding. First, determination as a future BS 
or uh, a student, you need to have to study the concept about our society, not only the concept of the society, but also the morals that we have, um, the knowledge that we know about our surroundings. As far as I'm concerned, that if we know about our, our environment, we know we know our techni techniques that we need to do so that um, we can we can give solutions to our problems. And I think these qualities, determination, and have um, known the surroundings can equip students solutions and for that they can collaborate and they can share their ideas and also they can volunteer to, to the programs in the school, not only in the school but also outside the school. I think these qualities, determination, and know the surroundings or have that um, background or know the news in the television, I think that's the awareness that we need to do in order to solve the conflicts in our society. That would be all. Thank you. Thank you. We all know that being a leader is not an easy task and responsibility. But I believe that one quality that a PSF should possess is having a good leadership. I believe that in that way, impart your knowledge to your fellow staff to protect our environment and impart to them that we as a younger generation should give importance to our Mother Earth, so that we can achieve a global warming world. That's all we need. your course and your society first. So I am Sheena Marie Ruga from Bachelor of Health representing Merge Nakamura. So are you ready to answer the question? Okay, here goes the question. Give me one quality a BPE student that everyone should have and how quality of yours to solve the existing problem that we for example the global warming. I need one quality of a BPE student that ever and how could you use this quality of yours to solve the problem that we have? Example, the global warming. Good afternoon, sir. I would like you to introduce yourself, your course, and your society. So, I'm third year college um, from Luis. 
Okay, so I hope you are now ready to answer the one million dollar question. So here goes. Nothing. If you are ambassador of the College of Teacher Education course, of course, the BEN, how would you use it to help transmit the vision, mission, and goals of the department to the community, the institution, and the college? I repeat. If you would be the next ambassador of the College of Teacher Education and given your course, BEN, how would you use it to help transmit the vision, mission, and goals of the department to the community, the institution, the college? So good afternoon. I want to introduce yourself, your course, and also your society. Mr. Carpenter, ladies and gentlemen, I am Tom Justin Subadi in class, taking up my bachelor degree in secretary of education, majoring in English. So I hope you are now ready to answer my question, not just the million dollar question. So if you will be the next ambassador to teacher education and given your course in English, how would you use it to help transmit mission and goals of the department to the community, the AC College? I repeat, if you will be the next ambassador of the College of Teacher Education and given your course, BS in English, how would you use it to help transmit the vision, the vision, the vision, mission, and goals of the department to the community, the institution, and the college? Again, a pleasant afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. If I will become a Mr. Education <clears throat> for this year, I have this advocacy for the voice and voiceless. Regardless of my um, major, in English, major, which is this in English, I believe that my advocacy would help to enlighten the students and promote the vision, goals, and vision of our department. I believe that education isn't only for one specific uh, courses, but that this advocacy for the voice for the voiceless is um, would help the students to navigate and to manipulate their own areas of the, every courses. I believe that the goals and the missions of the school is all is always there, but the problem is there's no there are no uh, people or students would love to voice it out. But I am here as a student, a preserved teacher. I will be voice out uh, those problems and those opinions of every students and and by that I believe that. It will help the students to hone not only for their skills but the intellectual capacity and all also uh, their capacity uh, to influence other students. And I believe uh, that's all, ma'am. Thank you. Take. So good afternoon. Else, I would like you to introduce yourself and also your society. Asi Restu Jantinya Randa, taking the education 